Building a foundation of educational excellence, one student at a time. It's the mission of Marshall County Central School. But in order to continue with that mission, we have to address some needs of our current building and plan for the future. That's why we're proposing a referendum later this summer. The data that we've collected through surveys, meetings, and years of analysis have led us to the direction where we need to expand our current footprint. Student safety and space needs are both the priority and the, currently the biggest challenges we have at Marshall County Central. In a 2019 survey, parents expressed that their biggest concern was student traffic across County Road 28. Students have crossed the streets since 1970 when the high school was constructed. However, at that time, it was mainly high school students making one round trip a day. Currently, we have about 315 students that need to cross the street three or four times a day. Oftentimes there is a need for vehicles to be parked along this street, which can create vision obstruction. And this, together with increased truck traffic, is creating a potentially more dangerous situation. The need for additional space is not a new conversation. Shortly after I was first elected to the school board in 2004, the district started the initiative of repurposing space for additional classroom needs. The enrollment has increased quite dramatically with over 60 students in the last seven years. And the projection is for this trend to continue. And if that happens, we will not have space to accommodate those students. Space has always been uh, an issue here in, in Newfold and in Viking. We've had steady growth for many years, but made some changes, eliminated our library and our music room in the elementary, and we started moving kids across the street to share space at the high school. We got the added classroom space we needed, but we created a new issue of concern with kids crossing the street multiple times to use their library and music room here. The project here will involve replacing the New Folden Elementary building. The old New Folden Elementary building would be demolished and, and replaced. The items that would go in that location would be a overflow parking for, for big events. Uh, we'd also uh, it would involve moving the Northwest Rick building to that location. Um, so our special ed partners uh, will use that space, share the parking lot, and be close to our, our students and staff here in New Folden. Right where the current Northwest Rick building is located, we plan to add some court space and, and a brand new playground for kids to access and uh, be a wonderful place for our kids to play. The goal is to add some uh, elementary space to the east side of the high school building. It'll replace everything that's in the current elementary and uh, add some needed space for our school daycare program. We also plan to add a cafeteria and a new gym north of the high school to meet the needs of our elementary gym program. The new site plan sets things up so there'll be a, a dedicated lane on the east side of the school where parents can drive in and drop off and not get mixed in with our buses. We would enlarge the bus loop for bus exchanges for children so all our buses would fit off the street in an enclosed area. Some upgrades to our current high school building include modernization of our HVAC system. It currently has pneumatic controls that have to be manually adjusted. Automatic controls would allow us to actually see how it's working off-site. It also helps the building become more energy efficient. We plan to enlarge the common space, give some attention to the library, and some updates to classroom spaces. My name is Katie Longerbone. Being somebody that has to walk across the street all the time, it gets to get cold in the winter, and I mean, I've seen plenty of kids fall and hurt themselves. I think it would also be nice to have like everyone here on this side, so like families, if they have kids, they're all in one building and it's easier to get in contact with everyone. My name is Brooke Fredrickson. That new gym is gonna be awesome. The one we have right now, it's really hard to like stay upright. It's very slippery in there. It's pretty cramped. More gym space and more practice space. We don't have to go to Carlson every day either. My name is Diane Waterworth and I'm the fifth grade teacher at Nefolden Elementary. Okay, well, it's an exciting adventure for all of us in the district. Economically, it makes sense and having the high school kids around so that the elementary kids have something to look up to on a regular basis, I think that's a valuable aspect. 
Right now, once they cross the street, I kind of lose touch. But to be able to be in contact with them on a daily basis would give me some follow through as to what I've done with them in fifth grade, how that's played out as they get closer to graduation. We have really outgrown our facilities. Uh, we have Head Start and preschool that share a classroom, which means only one can go three days a week, one can only go two days a week. We also have a speech nurse and social worker that have to share a space. Uh, and it's also right next to our music room and our gym. Uh, and if you are around Phi Ed, you know how loud that can be and how distracting that can be for students trying to work. What we are proposing is we want to remodel our, our stage area to make that a big music room. Uh, we also want to add on a cafeteria to add more time for our students to eat. Uh, we also want to add a classroom space. We want that Head Start and preschool teacher to have their own classroom to create more learning opportunities for them as well. Uh, this also would give us more space for speech teacher, our social worker, and our nurse. We also want to create more space for small group time. We don't have a lot uh, to give paras a chance to work with small groups. If the referendum were to pass, your average home would see an increase of $20 per month on your tax basis. This chart shows a breakdown of how the proposed referendum would be financed. As you can see in the highlighted green, the Ag to Stool credit will pick up 23% of the overall building project. Enbridge will also fund 32% of this project. This total of 55% is a savings to our taxpayers. Mail-in balloting begins June 25th and the election day is August 10th. Please visit buildmccstrong.org to learn more information about the referendum. Together we can build MCC Strong.